Greetings, I the War Owl greets you. Ladies and gentlemen, big news. Player Renown's Battlegrounds has surpassed Counter-Strike Global Offensive in daily players. And you know what that means. It means, guys, I gotta quit Counter-Strike and be a full-time Player Unknown's Pavadaba player. Just kidding. Please don't downvote and unsubscribe because I said that. That was a joke. This first person only mode is fantastic. Wow, am I the only one who went to Pachinki? I'm surprised, actually. We'll head west um, for safety. I find that this first person only mode is better in nearly every single way than the third person mode. And a code. Look how freaking badass I look. Guys, if I lose this one, I've got like the best possible loadout right now if you don't get a care package. Oh man, this thing is so hard to drive. It's the weight distribution. It's got this stupid side. That ain't first person. All right, this is a really good place to just kind of chill. Hopefully nobody sneaks up on me. I don't know. Enemy vehicle coming from the, behind me. Let's go see what he had. Exactly what I needed. That is the reward I get for headshotting people. Oh, there's the death zone right there. The reward I get for headshotting people is I get their armor, guys. I thought there was a guy there. I got scared for a second. It might be safer at this point to head out on foot. Unless you're that guy. Oh my gosh. He should be dead. I just hit him twice. He's not going to peek me, though. There's no way. He's got to heal up. All right, let's get back to the car and just flank him. I hit that dude twice. Oh, there he is. Oh, <laughs> I was trying to get him. And there we go again. He ain't gonna peek me. Oop, someone else just got him. Wow, that dude jumped me, man. I am lucky to be alive. I didn't even have the right gun out to take him down. Oh my gosh. Let's go along the edge this way. Oh, there it is. Oh, are you kidding? I, I don't understand how I'm missing. Finally. I'm out of, oh, I'm out of gas. All right, this is gonna be tough. Cause I know there's people here. On the hill, oh my gosh. 
I was hesitant to really get on board with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds being a competitive experience until the first person perspective mode came out. It really puts you inside of the character. While success in the game does heavily rely on RNG, such as circle positioning, good players still consistently win games. This is evident by how I haven't been able to win a game in a while. First person is a better experience for a competitive player, someone who isn't just there to goof off, but a player looking for an engaging challenge. Third person allows for too many perspective exploits. It's a completely different game with a much lower skill ceiling. There's no punishment for peeking in third person. You can peek around a corner, over a wall, through a window, without ever showing yourself. That just makes for a bad gameplay experience, and it incentivizes chillin' in shrubberies or bushes. Let me give you a good example. Here's a confrontation I had with another sniper. In third person, I could just stand behind cover and never be seen and still watch his position, and he could do the same to me. This means that the only incentive to do anything comes when the circle changes. One person has to run out in the open and die. Notice how in first person mode, there's now a fight for the angle. Eventually, I think he does just run out and die, but it, the game gives a big advantage to people who are holding angles because of the time it takes to scope in and steady your aim. If you know exactly where an enemy is because of the third person perspective, you can simply set up your shot beforehand, sort of pre-shoot like I teach in Counter-Strike. It's much, much easier. Now, and because we're both using the car, I can try to fake out the enemy's shot and then hold the angle, or try to peek quickly to see where he is and then set up my shot beforehand. Now, we're playing a shooting game. This goes for any kind of cover, really. In first person only, you can't just camp a building and peer outside of the window without showing yourself. The winning strat shifts a little bit from building camping and bush camping to playing the edge of the zone and pushing inward with it. Well, here's what happened. We joined a duo, but we aren't showing up on the UI, so we don't know if we're teaming or not. See, you know, there's a way to find cold. out. If I shoot you in the face, and you get knocked down and I can pick you up. Um, do you, should, should we like, actually do this? Do this, do this. All right, let's do, sure. it. let's do it. Let's do it. I want to do it. You're my friend. Ah! Uh, friend fire. But it immediately killed me. What the hell? Uh, yeah, this is bugged. No, we lost because of it. Wait, you lost as well? Wait, yeah, what? Yeah, it just said you lose. What is this? That's crazy. Well, yeah, we, we we learned something. All right, we've been losing a lot. And I love you guys, and you deserve a win. So this time, I'm going to try really, really hard. And we're going to use our pro strats. After playing the first-person-only mode now for two weeks, I don't really ever want to go back to playing the third-person mode. I'm a competitive FPS player. I'm not good at, nor do I feel comfortable playing third-person mode. However, I understand why people would. Let's talk about how Battlegrounds has surpassed Counter-Strike in concurrent player numbers. You guys know I'm inexorably tied to Counter-Strike. I have accepted my fate. Counter-Strike is hardcore to the bone. It's designed and balanced around the competitive experience. Battlegrounds, in comparison, is a casual game, but not in a bad way. It's accessible without sacrificing gameplay, like Call of Duty does. It's a game I can play with my friends. It's a game I can have more fun with. But First Person has added a little bit of a competitive side to it. I can't play Counter-Strike with my friends. If you're somewhat better than someone or worse than someone, it's a frustrating experience to be teamed up with them or to be playing against them. I think that's where a lot of the quote-unquote toxicity comes from in a lot of these 5v5, 6v6 type competitive online games. And I also think frustration with that is why a lot of people are going to be and have already shifted to Battlegrounds. You can also play Battlegrounds solo, and you can just kind of screw around in it for fun going for kills. You can't play Counter-Strike or any of those other games solo. You have to work together as a team, you have to take it seriously, and when people don't take it seriously and just screw around, you're ruining a game for nine other people. The Battle Royale genre has been here for a while, but nobody has really figured out how to do it yet. Until now. I think the player numbers speak for themselves. These guys have a winner here. That being said, Counter-Strike has been the number one online shooter for 18 years. Not in players, but in quality. And as long as Valve doesn't screw it up royally somehow, I, I could think of a number of ways, but I don't think it's going to happen. It's going to be here a long time after Battlegrounds is a distant memory. Thanks for watching. I'm the War Owl, and I still have no closer.
I win games.